suspects it was a murder that had all the hallmarks of a contract hit. As Gail Maney waits for the... Did you know Leah Stevens? Did you see her being murdered? Did you tell anyone that you had seen her being murdered? During my time in prison, maybe for about the first um, five or six years, I kept the diary and wrote in it most days of just kind of my thoughts and um, how I was feeling. Generally, I wrote at night time. I guess it kind of helped me um, mentally and emotionally, just kind of expressing myself and privacy. Pretty much, what you say is in here? Um, probably about, oh, well, I've been, it's been in storage since 2012. So I've been in storage now for like well, six years, oh, no, probably five and a half, because probably the end of 2012. Thursday the 3rd of July, I think it is July. I go to police station at 10 p.m. after dropping off kids. I was getting a car part after collecting my stuff. Within five minutes, Vicky McColl says I'm under arrest for the murder of Dean Fuller Sandys. I thought she was just hustling me at first, and I would, and they would let me go. In the end, I was numb all over and I couldn't feel any emotion. Oh, the tears wouldn't come. I can't remember. <laughs> My name is Gail Maney. I was convicted of the murder of Dean Fuller Sandys, who disappeared in 1989. I was, I was convicted of his murder. Um, I'm innocent of his murder. It, there was no body and no DNA. I've spent 15 years in prison in total. Um, and my, currently my stuff is all in storage and it has been for the last six years. And basically my life is in limbo. Um, and I guess I kind of feel a little bit lost and don't know what direction I'm heading um, or where I'm gonna live or where my life is going, I guess.